Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel at Flippin' Hippos. On this episode of Hungry Hippo, we are going to make movie theater style popcorn. Most of you know that movies are my favorite pastime, probably second only to reading. I take my movie watching very, very seriously. I am a movie aficionado, especially of the horror genre and the comic book genre. And because I love watching movies so much, I love having a great snack while I watch my movie. And of course, that's usually popcorn. But as we all know, microwave popcorn falls short. If you pop it in an air popper, it's kind of plain and lacks any kind of flavor at all. It's almost like chewing on styrofoam. And you really can only get the best, the greatest popcorn when you're at the movie theater. I spent a lot of years of my life trying to make movie theater popcorn at home. I used a lot of different implements to pop it, from air poppers to stove poppers to steam poppers. I've tried all different kinds of popcorns and flavorings and oils and seasonings. And I finally found the exact way to make movie theater popcorn at home. You guys. It has to be exactly the way I'm going to show you in order for it to work. I found the implement to pop it in, the ingredients to use, and the exact recipe in which to use them. If you follow this, you will make movie theater popcorn at home every single time. And I swear it tastes just like movie theater popcorn with the butter. It's got the uh, kind of the off orange color to it like you're used to seeing at the movie theater and it makes a lot I can usually fill up this whole big bowl and so if I don't eat it all in one sitting I can put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the cupboard and have an easy go-to snack the next time I'm sitting down to read a book or watch a movie um, what you're gonna need is this Great Northern Popcorn Original Spinner. The reason this works so well is because it is a miniaturized version of the movie theater popcorn popper on your stove. You guys know the big one I'm talking about, the movie theater. The reason that pops popcorn so good is because it spins. This is kind of loud. The one at the theater is in the bottom of the machine, but it's constantly spinning the kernels as it's popping them with steam, and that's the trick. So this will constantly spin it. It has the holes here you can see, and it uses steam to pop your kernels. So that's the way of popping, which is the first step, is to get that constant spin and to pop it with steam. The next step you need is the oil that you pop it in. This is Golden Barrel Butter Flavored Coconut Oil. It's a little messy, um, but this is actually, now that it's on my hand, you can see, this is oil, obviously you need oil to pop popcorn. This is butter flavored, so it gives it that buttery flavoring, but the color here is actually what colors the popcorn, that color. This is exactly what they use at the movie theater. And this is Flavacol. It is flavored salt. It too will help lend color to the popcorn. The salt inside is a little bit orange. They use this at the movie theater and uh, the circus and carnivals and anywhere you get popcorn pre-popped out of those big machines. And this adds that nice salt flavor and a little bit more of that orange color you're used to seeing. These three items can be purchased on Amazon, and I'm gonna include the links in the description box for you so you can go purchase your own. I did buy this originally on Amazon, and these um, items here I did originally buy with this, and now I buy these when I need more. Obviously, you only need to buy the spinner once, um, but it has to be a spinner that pops with steam. You need this brand, it's called Flavacol. Anyone that's ever worked in a movie theater will tell you this is exactly what they use but it comes in a smaller version for the home instead of a giant barrel. And then you need your coconut oil and it needs to be butter flavored. As far as your popcorn kernels, you can use any popcorn kernels you want because as long as you're using the steam spin method to pop and the proper salt and the proper oil, the kernels don't matter so much. You can buy Orville Redenbacher um, you can buy store brands, you can buy yellow or white, it really doesn't matter whatever kind of popcorn kernels you like or is within your budget. You can see mine are store brand. These aren't as important as the method and the other ingredients. 
The next thing you're going to need is to follow the exact recipe. So, turn this towards me and knock my hippo in the head. The jar of coconut oil actually tells you how much coconut oil to use, so you can't ever really forget that. It says three tablespoons right on it, and ignore anything else it says because it's going to give you uh, three tablespoons of oil to this much cups of popcorn. Ignore that part. Just remember to look on there for how many tablespoons of cooking oil you need and to ignore the rest. Um, mine's already in here, but you will need three tablespoons of this. And then to remember the rest of the recipe, it's one, two, three, four. The one, two stands for one half. One half teaspoon of your flavor call goes in. I'm gonna add this right now. I put my oil in ahead of time because it does get a little bit messy. And I just really wanna get messy on camera, the irony. One, two, three, four. One, two stands for one half teaspoon of flavor call. Three, four stands for three fourths cup of popcorn. And that's why I told you to ignore the directions on the oil because it has you using a little bit less than that. And this is actually the perfected recipe. I spent a lot of time on the internet researching and a lot of time in the kitchen experimenting. And this is the perfect ration. Three tablespoons, one half teaspoon, three fourths cup of kernels. We're gonna go over to the stove now. Hi guys, we're over at the stove now. This is a little loud. <laughs> you put your pot on medium heat. If you're on a gas flame, you can just kind of estimate where the medium flame would be. Um, and then you just spin this handle until it starts popping. That noise actually reminds me of the beginning of Hostel when they were wheeling that gurney down that long, dark hallway and the wheel was squeaking. <laughs> it does take a couple minutes to get popping. I wouldn't suggest turning the heat up if you're impatient. You gotta be patient. Good popcorn takes time. So just always use the medium heat when you throw a scorch the oil, or you're going to have a lot of unpopped kernels. The wonderful thing about this original thinner is I have seen one unpopped kernel in my four years ever. It pops everything in there. So just keep it on the medium heat. I feel like I'm yelling, but this is loud. And just keep spinning it. And then when it starts to pop, you're going to keep spinning and keep it on the heat until it all pops up and you'll see that the door here starts to open and the popcorn starts to want to kind of come out. I'm going to go ahead and continue to spin this until it's popping and um, I'll be back. I'm not going to like make you guys watch me the whole time. It does take a couple minutes. Alright guys, mine is starting to pop. I'll pause the speaking so you can hear it. Take it off the heat. 
and then let it rest until it's done popping. And once it's all done popping, very carefully, don't have any hippos in your popcorn bowl, very carefully so you don't get burned by steam, point it away from you, pour it in, you gotta kind of shake it around a little, but it will all come out. Sometimes I need the spinner just to help it. Boop. And I make baskets too. And no one pop kernel. Wonderful. And you can see it has that nice yellow color you can see you get at the movie theater. The best time to eat it is when it's fresh off the stove and it's warm. It's just like being at the movie theater. But like I said, if you have extra, you can put it in Ziploc bags and it tastes good for like a week. As long as you keep it in an airtight um, bag or container of some sort, up to a week later, it still tastes fresh. It's after a week when it starts to taste stale. It starts to taste stale. Again, I will put down below in the description box the Amazon links to the Great Northern Original Spinner Popcorn Spinner and the coconut butter and the flavor call salt. All right guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you get this stuff to make this and you try it at home. I'm really excited for those of you that really love your popcorn as much as I do to try this. Um, do me a favor before you leave, smash the like button if you would. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. Until next time, you guys have a good night. I'm gonna watch a movie.